Okay, today I'm going to show you how to make a very simple button toggle. Uh, you can use this for any kind of uh, shawl, crochet, or knit garment. Um, but this is the one that I'm going to make today is going to be specific to my shawl pattern called Pretty Little Shawl. Pretty Little Thing Shawl. Okay, so let's get started. Today, all you'll need is uh, two buttons. Just check to make sure that they're the size that you want to uh, go through your garment. Uh, a needle, scissors, and some yarn, some thin yarn that you can use. And I'm using cotton today because it's pretty strong. So we're gonna just thread the needle And this is a this is a yarn needle. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to start on the back side of the button and go through two of the holes. And then we're going to go on the back side of the next button and go through two of the holes. Okay, see where we're at. Where we're at. Now we're just going to go back through the um, <clears throat> the first button. If you only have two holes on your button, just do those two holes again. And then we'll go back through the other two holes in this button. Okay, so what we're going to do is, you can see this tail that's coming out. We're going to want to have that tail up because what we're going to do is we're going to wrap, we're going to be wrapping We're going to be wrapping around like this. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to make sure that this tail is up before you start wrapping because we're going to want that tail to be in the wrap. Okay, so um, before you start wrapping, get the distance, the distance between the two buttons <clears throat> to the amount that you want. Now for the pretty little thing shawl, I have the distance pretty close together. I would say that's about a quarter to a third of an inch. All right, so now what we're going to do is we've got our tail, we're holding our tail up here, and we're just going to start wrapping it around. And just pull it kind of tight, and then what you're going to do is you're going to take your needle and you're going to go through the bottom right in here so that and then it comes out the other side okay and we're going to pull that through pull that through nice and tight and then we're going to do the same thing at the other end. Go through here. There we go. You can see how that needle is going underneath the wrapping and in between all the places where we were going in and out of the button. So now I'm going to pull that through nice and tight. And then um, I'm just going to go through, just going to put the needle in one more time through the yarn. I'll do that a couple more times, maybe one or two more times. And then that's it. And then you just um, 
I like to tie a little knot actually to keep it from fraying. Get that down, get that down in there. And then I cut that just after the knot. And then I'll do the same thing on this side. knot down in there. It doesn't matter if they hang out just a little bit. You, you won't see them. Okay. And then the way that these work these in place on your pretty little thing shawl is you put one in on one side and do it so that you're going to want want it so that this button is laying flat so you're going to um, instead of putting it in like this because then you'd you'd have they'll be facing like this and you'll have it won't lay flat <clears throat> so what you want to do is uh, Put it in so that the button will lay flat underneath. And then uh, line it up with the other side. And there you go. And that will hold. You can see I just did that all the way up. And that's how you make your little toggle button. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, please like it and share it and please subscribe for more videos, instructional and null videos, reviews and crochet and knitting tips and pattern tutorials. Thank you. Bye-bye.